Welcome home, Orion. The Artemis One Orion capsule has splashed down after a 25-day trip to circle the moon. It's just the first step in an ambitious plan to establish a long-term presence there and eventually send a crewed shuttle to Mars. Astrophysicist Hakeem Alushei joins me live now for more on this. Hakeem, thanks for being on. What kind of data did Orion collect and why is this so important? Orion collected a lot of data. There was onboard data, and there were also 10 CubeSats that were jettisoned from the spacecraft. And these CubeSats are cheaper, they're more fragile, and this is one of the rare opportunities we had to send them into deep space. But if you look at all of the data that was collected, a good portion of it was based on understanding the spacecraft itself, because there was a lot of new technologies deployed, and also understanding how the deep space radiation environment will affect human bodies. And in particular, this mission was focused on female human bodies, because there are different challenges. Women are more susceptible to radiation, and when they are exposed, then there is a greater damage of harm. So. Let's get to the, the big question here. Does this get us closer to being able to travel to the moon or even one day Mars in the near future? Oh, does it ever? Because if you look at what happened with the, the spacecraft itself, the, Art, the, the Artemis mission from launch to the performance in space, to the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, all of which are incredibly challenging, everything went incredibly well. I mean, it's such a complicated mission. You don't even expect everything to go so well, but in this case, it did. And a lot of things were tried for the very first time. So kudos to all the engineers who made this happen. So what does this mean for the next few missions? Artemis 2 and 3 uh, set for probably 2024, 2025, at least around then. Uh, what are you looking for there? Well, you know what? It's looking really good, right? So our, our main objective is to get astronauts out there and back home safely. So this was a completely uncrewed mission. The next mission will take astronauts around the moon, not to land on the moon. And then Artemis 3 will actually land astronauts on the moon. So what we're looking at now is there's data that's come back about how the environment is gonna affect the astronauts. And there's also data about the spacecraft. And in particular, one of the things they're doing is they're reusing flight computers. And these flight computers have to be taken off of Artemis 1 and put on Artemis 2. And so those computers right now are being analyzed, or at least they're, they're being recovered so they can be analyzed and understand if that's gonna be a workable process. So there is a lot left to be done, um, but NASA is going about this is one step at a time, and it is very impressive how well they've done so far. All right, Akeem Aluse, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.